Uh, thank you very much. It's filled up a little. I'm thank, I'm, thank goodness I'm talking to people. I love it. Um, I'm tackling a small subject today, saving the world. Um, I believe the work we can do is instrumental in saving the world. Let me tell you why. We are in the middle of an existential crisis. When I say the world, I do not mean the planet. I'm talking about humanity on the planet. Ourselves, sitting here in the organizations and the structures that we have, that we have got comfortable with. That is the world. And if we don't do something about it, that will cease to exist, in my opinion. Today is not about the what and the how. There are plenty of things going on around this fantastic place to talk about that. What I want to do is talk about the why. Why everything that you in this room and people in this building are doing is essential to our humanity. Let me explain. We have many things going on. Forces on the planet and on our civilization. Let's talk about those. We have struggles for resources. We have less land. We have more people wanting to use that land. We're using it for different reasons and taking it part, part of it away. We're using up the resources on which we stand. We're even poisoning some of those resources so we can't use them again. We're even moving around the planet more than any other time in history. We're moving to central places. How do we get more resources there? Through conflict and different events and climate, we are having people movement all over the planet. That is creating a set of forces to create a competitive environment. Global climate change, now called global climate emergency, if you read the papers in the UK, or me. This is a force which will create our extinction if we don't do something about it. So they're global forces that's going on, but think about on a daily basis. If you look at some of these, we are being covered in creative, sorry, competitive forces every hour, every second of our lives. The forces in the device in our hand. We must be quicker. We must be leaner. We must do less. We must use more and achieve even more with that. On a daily basis, on an hourly basis, we are being told to compete for resources and time and attention. This is the world that we live in, and this is what we need to deal with. We can talk about leadership. Many people think that they are the causes. No, I believe they are the symptoms. They are the symptoms of these forces going on. These forces of competition and hence division, they are simply symptoms of the forces on humanity. So we need to deal with that rather than simply blaming people for voting for certain people. But it's not even only politics. Thinking about environmental activism, name calling and rubbishing theory is the norm now. We are being divisive, we are separating. Competition creates separation. Another force that we have. Take a look at this. This is some work with, uh, from Eddie Obeng. He talks about um, the environment w w where we are at the moment. Think of these two curves. Learning is relatively flat. We may get slightly better at it, but actually we stay relatively flat. But actually the rate of change, because of our connectivity, and creating complexity, mainly through the net and being connected, has created a sense of complexity like never before. We can't plan anymore because, because of this network, it is unpredictable by default. 
Eddie talks about this happening, kind of that, those two lines crossing around about 1995. We are living in a fast-changing world. The rate of change is amazing. So that's what we're dealing with. We have this line of competitive, in division, collaboration of bringing together. So what do we do? We need to think about this competition. What do we do here? Well, we do things really simply. We, ca we create a product of co-creation. When we take our theater examples, we think about what do we do? We come together as people and create something new. But we need some more ingredients for that. We need collaboration. Collaboration is the glue or the oil that oils that process. Before that, we need to learn about communication. The basic things like listening and working together, this is what we teach. This is what we show. And even before that, we think about trust. So when I go, about, go out and talk about this work, I very rarely use the I word. I use these words because this is what we do. We have a massive, uh, great community doing this stuff. A lot of words are used. This is what I strip it down to. These are the fundamentals that we build up to help people create in the moment together. This is what we can share with the world. So I believe what we're doing is actually balancing out the world. The world is telling us to compete, yet what we can do is redress the balance. We can add to this side of the seesaw. We can help people co-create because we need to co-create. The world is going so fast and the rate of change, we can't do it by ourselves anymore. We need co-creation. It's the only way we can keep up. And collaboration is the antidote to pure competition. This is how we can help people work more effectively. I appreciate this is a very simple, straightforward message. But I believe this is where we should start. We can redress the balance. These daily forces on us, global forces, political forces, forces in our device that are helping us be competitive animals even more, we need to redress the balance. And we have the tools to be able to do that. And that's what we need to go out into the world and do. But just doing a workshop, I don't believe, is really the answer. We need to be doing this on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, because the forces are impacting us on a daily basis. I remember reading a few years ago, Cat Coppett talking about our work is the gym. I believe we need to go to the next stage. I believe we talk about yoga, because yoga is conditioning as if to go to the gym and being fit, but also creating the right mindset for that. So we should be talking about we have the collaborative yoga to be able to help us on a daily basis, an hourly basis, to put this in place. We can do this every single day, and this should be our task. Finally, this is a product adoption curve. Over here is the 10%, the innovators, the people that we talk to normally, the people who get it, because they're the bridge into uh, the places where we want to talk. I believe we should be aiming for the 90%, the 90% that need to be talked to every single day, all the time. How do we get it into the DNA of what we do, both organizations and us on a daily basis? That's our target. This may be the target for the next 10 or 20 years of this organization. But I believe this is where we should be heading. Because simply aiming at the 10% and hoping they will get it will not save us. So the three things to maybe think about to take away. 
takeaway? Thank, oh, a titter at the front. Thank you very much. Use the language of your audience. If you want to connect with them, use the words that they use. If we use magic words that we know about and they don't, such as improv and improvisation, we're probably even putting a barrier up to start with. Use co-creation. Use collaboration. Use communication because they are the words that organizations, groups, and even people in the street, they understand them. Use their language. I believe we should be thinking about collaboration yoga every single day. Can you get up and do some exercises to be the antidote to competition? I want these exercises to happen at the start of meetings so people get into the right mindset and practice it. It should be the muscles that we, we exercise every single day to get the conditioning right and get our mindset right. And basically, humanity needs this work. Because if we don't do it, the world will be changing. Because this is why. This is some lovely pink seesaws over a wall in Mexico. This is when balancing that seesaw does work. It brings people together. Our work has the ability to bring people together. To not talk about difference, but talk about commonality. Not talking about zero-sum game, but actually we can all win. This is what we trade in every single day, and this should be our focus. If you want to talk more, please get in touch. Thank you.